If you fell into the great dark spot, Neptune storm. Neptune's great dark spot is a large dark storm system in the atmosphere of the planet Neptune. It is an analog to Jupiter's great red spot, but is less well known and understood due to the limited observations made by space probes. Appearance the great dark spot appears as a large oval-shaped dark region in Neptune's southern hemisphere. It is a high pressure region in the planet's atmosphere where gas is descending, causing the area to be relatively cloud-free and thus darker in color compared to the surrounding atmosphere. Size and location the size of the great dark spot can vary, but it has been estimated to be about the size of Earth or larger. Its exact dimensions and location can change due to the dynamic nature of Neptune's atmosphere and its fast-moving jet streams. Storm dynamics like other giant planets in the outer solar system, Neptune's atmosphere experiences powerful and turbulent weather systems. The great dark spot is thought to be a result of the interaction between different layers of the atmosphere and the planet's rapid rotation. Limited observations the great dark spot was first observed by the Voyager 2 spacecraft during its flight of Neptune in 1989. However, due to the limited time the spacecraft spent observing the planet, our understanding of the storm is somewhat incomplete. Changes over time observations from Voyager 2 and subsequent observations by ground-based telescopes and the Hubble Space Telescope have suggested that Neptune's great dark spot may be a transient feature that can appear, disappear, or change shape over relatively short periods of time. Similarities to Jupiter's great red spot The great dark spot is often compared to Jupiter's great red spot, a long-lived anticyclonic storm on Jupiter. Both storms are large, long-lasting features in the atmospheres of their respective planets, but the dynamics and composition of their atmospheres are different. Challenges of study studying Neptune's great dark spot is challenging due to Neptune's distance from Earth and the limited number of space missions that have visited the planet. Future missions to Neptune could provide more insights into the nature and behavior of this enigmatic storm. Overall, Neptune's great dark spot remains a fascinating and puzzling feature in the outer solar system, and further research and observations are needed to better understand its formation, evolution, and underlying atmospheric dynamics. Atmospheric Entry Entering Neptune's atmosphere would be an extreme and challenging endeavor due to the planet's unique characteristics and harsh conditions. Here's what you might expect during an atmospheric entry into Neptune. Cold and hostile environment Neptune is a gas giant with an extremely cold atmosphere. Temperatures can plummet to around minus 200 degrees Celsius, minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit, or even colder. This extreme cold would affect any spacecraft or probe attempting to enter the atmosphere. Atmospheric composition Neptune's atmosphere primarily consists of hydrogen and helium, with traces of other gases such as methane. As a spacecraft descends into the atmosphere, it would experience increasing atmospheric pressure and density. Entry heat Despite the cold temperatures, the high speeds of entry would generate significant heat due to friction with the gas molecules in the upper atmosphere. This heat would need to be managed to prevent damage to the spacecraft. Supersonic flight as the spacecraft enters the atmosphere, it would experience supersonic speeds, which can create shockwaves and heating. Specialized heat shields or thermal protection systems would be required to withstand these conditions. Pressure and density increase as the descent continues, the pressure and density of the atmosphere would increase rapidly. At certain depths, the gases could become dense enough to behave like a supercritical fluid with properties between those of a gas and a liquid. Unpredictable weather and storms Neptune's atmosphere is characterized by dynamic and rapidly changing weather patterns, including powerful storms like the Great Dark Spot. These turbulent conditions could pose challenges for safe entry and descent. Lack of solid surface unlike terrestrial planets like Earth, Neptune does not have a solid surface to land on. The planet transitions from its gaseous outer layers to an increasingly dense and mysterious interior. Short window for data transmission during descent. A spacecraft would have a limited window for transmitting data back to Earth due to the absorbing and scattering effects of Neptune's atmosphere. Limited duration the extreme conditions, high pressures, and temperatures would likely limit the survivability of any probe or spacecraft within Neptune's atmosphere. The equipment would need to be designed to withstand these conditions for a relatively short period. Robotics and remote observation given the extreme challenges of an atmospheric entry, it is more practical to study Neptune's atmosphere using robotic spacecraft and remote observation. Orbital missions and flybys provide valuable data without the need for direct entry. Gaseous environment. Neptune is classified as a gas giant, which means it is composed primarily of gases and lacks a solid surface like the terrestrial planets. 
such as Earth. Here are some key features of the gaseous environment of Neptune. Atmospheric composition Neptune's atmosphere is mainly composed of hydrogen, about 80 to 85 percent by volume, and helium, about 15 to 20 percent by volume. It also contains trace amounts of other gases, including methane, which gives the planet its bluish color. Temperature The upper atmosphere of Neptune is extremely cold, with temperatures averaging around minus 200 degrees Celsius, minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit. As you descend deeper into the atmosphere, temperatures and pressures increase. Layers of the atmosphere Neptune's atmosphere is divided into several layers. The outermost layer, where most of the visible cloud features exist, is composed of hydrogen and helium. Below this layer, the atmosphere transitions into denser and warmer regions. Clouds and storms Neptune's atmosphere is known for its dynamic and turbulent weather patterns. It features a series of cloud bands and storm systems, including the Great Dark Spot and other smaller vortices. The clouds are primarily composed of icy compounds, such as methane and ammonia. Jet streams Neptune experiences strong jet streams, which are high-speed winds that flow in opposite directions at different latitudes. These jet streams can drive the planet's weather patterns and create atmospheric features. Supersonic winds Neptune has some of the fastest winds in the solar system, reaching speeds of up to 2,100 km per hour, 1,300 miles per hour, or even faster. These supersonic winds are thought to be driven by the planet's internal heat and its rapid rotation. Magnetosphere and Aurora's Neptune has a strong magnetic field that is tilted relative to its rotation axis. This magnetic field interacts with charged particles from the solar wind, creating auroras near the planet's poles. Interior and atmospheric pressure, as you descend deeper into Neptune's atmosphere, the pressure and density increase dramatically. At some depth, the hydrogen in the atmosphere transitions from a gas to a high-pressure fluid with properties resembling those of a liquid. No solid surface unlike rocky planets, Neptune does not have a solid surface. Instead, its atmosphere gradually transitions into a thick and mysterious interior composed of icy and rocky materials. Challenges of exploration exploring Neptune's gaseous environment present significant challenges due to the extreme cold high pressures and lack of a solid landing site. Robotic spacecraft such as Voyager 2 have provided valuable data about the planet's atmosphere, but direct entry and exploration remain complex endeavors. Pressure and Density Neptune is a gas giant, composed mostly of hydrogen and helium, with a small fraction of other elements and compounds. As you descend into the planet's atmosphere, the pressure and density increase dramatically due to the increasing weight of the overlying gases. The following information provides an overview of the pressure and density profiles in Neptune's atmosphere. Pressure Profile Neptune's atmospheric pressure, at its surface, the level where the pressure is equivalent to Earth's sea level pressure, is approximately 1 bar, which is about 100 times greater than Earth's sea level pressure. However, Neptune doesn't have a solid surface like Earth, rather its atmosphere gradually thickens as you go deeper. Pressure and Depth the pressure increases rapidly as you descend into Neptune's atmosphere. For example, at a depth of about 100 kilometers below the cloud tops, the pressure is estimated to be around 10,000 bars, 1 million times Earth's sea level pressure. As you go even deeper, the pressure continues to increase significantly. At the depth where hydrogen becomes metallic, predicted to be around 10% of Neptune's radius from its center, the pressure could reach extreme values on the order of millions of bars, density profile. Neptune's density, like its pressure, increases as you descend into the planet's atmosphere. At the upper levels of the atmosphere where visible clouds and storm systems are present, the density is relatively low, similar to the upper layers of Earth's atmosphere. Density and depth. As you move downward into Neptune's atmosphere, the density of the gases increases due to the greater weight of the gas above. At depths where the gases become compressed and the atmosphere transitions to a more fluid-like state, the density can become much higher. The exact behavior of density with depth depends on the complex interactions of temperature, pressure, and composition. Supercritical fluid. At great depths within Neptune's atmosphere, the hydrogen is believed to undergo a transition from a gas to a highly compressed fluid-like state, often referred to as a supercritical fluid. This state has properties intermediate between those of a gas and a liquid. Unknown environment. Neptune, the eighth and farthest planet from the Sun in our solar system is a mysterious and relatively unexplored world. Its unique characteristics and unknown environment 
make it an intriguing subject of study for scientists. Here are some aspects of Neptune's unknown environment. Atmosphere and composition Neptune has a thick atmosphere primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, but it also contains traces of methane. The exact composition, behavior, and structure of its atmosphere, especially at different altitudes, remain subjects of ongoing research. Extreme weather Neptune experiences some of the most powerful and extreme weather patterns in the solar system. Its fast and dynamic cloud movements, including the Great Dark Spot, are not fully understood. The mechanisms driving these storms, as well as their interactions and longevity, are areas of scientific interest. Magnetosphere and Aurora's Neptune has a complex magnetic field that is tilted relative to its rotational axis. This results in unique interactions with the solar wind and the creation of Aurora's nearest poles. The details of Neptune's magnetosphere, how it generates and sustains its magnetic field, and the nature of its auroras are still being studied. Interior structure scientists believe Neptune has a solid core surrounded by a layer of water, ammonia, and methane compounds enveloped by its thick atmosphere. However, the exact size, composition, and characteristics of its core are not well understood. Heat and energy sources Neptune emits more heat than it receives from the Sun, indicating the presence of internal heat sources. The mechanisms behind this excess heat, including gravitational contraction and potential radioactive decay, are not fully known. Ring system Neptune has a faint and relatively unexplored ring system. The origin of its rings, their composition, and how they interact with Neptune's moons are subjects of ongoing research. Moons and satellites Neptune has a diverse moon system, including Triton, which is the seventh largest moon in the solar system. The unique backward orbit of Triton and its geological activity pose questions about its origin and evolution. Surface features, since Neptune is a gas giant, it lacks a solid surface. However, scientists are interested in understanding the boundary between its gaseous atmosphere and potential icy or liquid layers beneath. Space missions, as of my last update in September 2021, only one spacecraft, Voyager 2, has conducted a flyby of Neptune in 1989. No dedicated missions have been sent to orbit or land on Neptune, which limits our direct observations and understanding of its environment. Lack of human survival. Surviving on Neptune would be virtually impossible for humans due to its extremely harsh and inhospitable conditions. Extreme cold Neptune is the eighth planet from the Sun and is located in the outer reaches of the solar system. Its average temperature is around minus 218 degrees Celsius, minus 360 degrees Fahrenheit. This frigid temperature is far colder than anywhere on Earth and would quickly freeze and damage human cells, leading to rapid incapacitation and death. No solid surface Neptune is a gas giant, primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, with no solid surface like Earth. As you descend into its atmosphere, the pressure and density of the gases increase rapidly. There is no solid ground to stand on, and attempting to land on Neptune would be like trying to land on a thick, dense cloud. Extreme pressure the atmosphere of Neptune becomes increasingly dense as you go deeper. The pressure at the planet's core is so intense that it can compress hydrogen into exotic forms, possibly including a metallic state. Human bodies are not adapted to withstand such extreme pressures, and they would be crushed long before reaching any significant depth. Lack of oxygen Neptune's atmosphere is composed mainly of hydrogen and helium, with trace amounts of other gases. There is virtually no oxygen, which is essential for human respiration. Breathing Neptune's atmosphere would be impossible for humans, and there's no available oxygen to sustain life. Toxic and corrosive atmosphere, the composition of Neptune's atmosphere includes gases such as methane and ammonia. These gases are toxic to humans and can be corrosive as well. Inhaling or being exposed to these gases would have harmful effects on the human body. Radiation Neptune is located far from the sun, but it still receives some solar radiation. Additionally, it has its own internal heat, which contributes to the stormy and dynamic nature of its atmosphere. The radiation levels near Neptune would be hazardous to humans, even with protective shielding. Isolation Neptune is over 4 billion kilometers, about 2.5 billion miles, away from Earth. Any human-made spacecraft traveling to Neptune would require a long journey and face numerous challenges related to life support, radiation protection, and propulsion. It's worth emphasizing that Neptune's great dark spot is a dynamic and rapidly changing phenomenon. It's not a fixed feature like a solid surface on a planet. The storm could dissipate or evolve over time, and attempting to fall into, it would not be feasible with our current technology and understanding of the planet. 
In reality, Neptune's atmosphere is an inhospitable and challenging environment for any kind of human exploration. Any exploration of Neptune's atmosphere would likely be done using robotic spacecraft and would involve collecting data from a safe distance rather than attempting to physically enter the planet's atmosphere. That's all in this video. If you like the information, please hit like and subscribe to this channel and be connected to this channel for more space information.